Hi, this is Emma Shortliff. Um, I am going to talk today about something that I actually do kind of well, is how to finish a book. I think I've written like 13 books, but if you don't count NaNoWriMo novels, it might only be seven. Um, so, but I can finish stories. Like, that's a thing that I can do, um, that I have a lot of experience with. So I wanted to give you just like maybe five basic tips on things I do. Also you can kind of tell that I've lost a battle with the humidity here, but um, I also have notes. <laughs> Anyways, so tip number one. First thing that helps me to be able to finish a book and the major thing that people tell me when they are unable to finish a book is just that they spend too much time on world building. Um, I know so many people who I talk to them about writing are like, oh yeah, I write. And I'm like, oh yeah, how long have you been doing it? And they just like get this glazed look that has been happening forever. And they can't even get through their book. A lot of it just stays in their head. So you just got to write the book. All right. You can, if you really want to be Tolkien and like spend your whole life like planning it out, making sure it all works. Like that's good. Like that's a cool thing. But... Like, if you actually, I like, at some point, you just gotta write it. Um, so yeah, I know a couple people who just spend so much time planning it that they never actually write the dang book. I'm actually the opposite. I usually need to add world building because I just, I'm such a character dialogue person that, like, world building kind of just, like, mm, falls to the wayside. Uh, <laughs> but for a lot of people, the world building is what they get stuck on, okay? So yeah, yeah. You do need to know that information, but you don't need to know all of it before you write the book. Kind of like you do not know this world inside and out, and yet you are living this life. And you could write a book probably on your life, okay? You don't need to know everything to start writing. Um, second thing is, um, for me, what really helps is writing through the hard parts and skipping. Okay, because there are a lot of times where... You're like not sure what's supposed to happen, not sure what you can do next, and it really helps to just write right through it. Um, which I know a lot of people are like, but it's not inspired. But if you sit around waiting for inspiration, again, you're never gonna write the dang book. Okay. Oh, the sun's coming in here a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, and skipping things. A lot of times I will skip things and I will use a word that I can find in the find bar. Um, usually it'll just be here with a bunch of S's. So here's. Um, that way I can go back and fill in the places I missed. And I cannot tell you how many times when I go back to fill in the place that I missed that it turned out that um, I didn't actually need it. Oh wait, there's the awkward sun is gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sometimes forcing yourself to put words on a page will get you through and you can go back and fix it later. And a lot of times, trust me on this, when you go back to fix it later, you'll be like, oh, I actually like how this was written. I thought that was awful. Okay. Because writing, it is a process and you do, you want it to be fun. But there are, like, in order to get to the fun, sometimes you just have to work through the crap. Kind of like how you have to go to work to make money to have fun, all right? So just write through, skip things, uh, make sure you leave a marker so you remember the places that you skipped, something like H-E-R-E-S-S, -S, -S, or I'll write aquí, um, which is here in Spanish, <laughs> um, to help you know where to find it. Um, and third thing is don't edit. I know that a lot of people are perfectionist writers and you want it to be perfect and look pretty and you don't want anyone to risk coming across it in your file folder and that having, you know, the idea of having embarrassing writing there is mortifying. But just, you can't, you'll never be perfect, all right? No one's perfect. Everything ever written has flaws, all right? Um, so you just have to put that aside sometimes so that you can get the story written because if you're caught up in the details, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get like 
discouraged about your own writing. So um, there are a couple of programs, there are places you can go online that just give you a blank page you can write on with no interruption. Sometimes just writing on like a notepad or something without spell check is helpful so that you don't go back. Um, handwriting helps you if you're one of those people who editing gets you caught up because then you get to do all that fun editing process when you go back and type it up. Um, which I did that once and it was, it was really fun. It was just very time consuming and I'm, I don't have that long of an attention span. Um, so that was three. Four is set a goal, a reachable goal, um, and some accountability, which I hate the word goal. I am not a goal person. And so when I was thinking about things that helped me write and I was like, oh, I have to admit that one actually helped even though I hate it. Um... But what helped me with this is getting a writing group. So if you have write for writing friends, or you can find them, there's plenty of internet places, um, Facebook pages, um, Twitter things, discords that you can go to to get people to keep you accountable. And just find a group that lets you report every week. So my writing group, uh, we post every week um, sections for other people to read, and then we comment on it. And that really helped me finish one of my books because, like, I really would not have created the book if it weren't for my writing group. And I was excited about showing someone something every week. So I actually got through it. That's how I got through an edit for a couple of my books. It is really helpful to have a goal and be accountable for it. And the goal doesn't even have to be super defined. I know they're all like, in like education and stuff, everyone's like, the goal must be defined. No, it doesn't have to be def super defined. It can just be, I'm going to write. I'm going to write every day this week. Bam! That's a goal. Um, I'm going to have something to present to my writing group once a week. Bam! That's a goal. Even if what you have is only a paragraph. Um, that's, it's super helpful because um, oh, Alexa Dunn says something along these lines. Because even if you write, and I think there's a quote, even if you write word by word, like one word a day, you're going to eventually have a book. Okay? So... Set yourself a goal. It does not need to be word count. Don't get stuck up on word count. A very easy goal that will make you excited about writing. Okay? Like sharing it. Setting a goal to share it. Okay? Um, then, number five. The last biggest thing that helped me is outlining the end. And I might do more explanation of my outlining process later. But a lot of times... My biggest reason for not finishing a book, besides just the sheer sitting down and doing it, <laughs> was um, not knowing where it was supposed to go, like not knowing how to get from point A to point B. And so sometimes I could have all the pieces of the book and I'd have this big Franken draft and I'm like, ah, what do I do now? Um, so what helps me get things in order is, even though I'm mostly a panster, sometimes a planster, um, is having an outline near the end. So once I write that end scene, or I have the end scene envisioned in my head, and I know where I want the story to go, it's like super helpful to outline it, to like write out what your main events are, okay? That way it's kind of almost like setting goalposts for yourself, where you're like, okay, like I can get to that hurdle, I can get to that marker, I can get to that thing. So I'll be like, all right, I can get to the scene where he does this, I can get to the scene where they confess their love, I can get to the scene where there's an end battle, um, and those, how they connect to each other, will lead you to the end of the book. So, once you imagine your end, and once you're over halfway, you need to write to your end, okay? So, like, when you're like, okay, I want this to be probably, it's going to be YA, so let's go with 80,000 words. Uh, my halfway mark is going to be 40,000. So you're writing away, character developing, blah, blah, blah. You get to 40,000, and you're like, okay, 40,000, I need to start going downward. So what is my end? How am I going to get there? And what are like five events that need to happen to lead up to that? And then just connect the dots. Okay? It's a little disjointed maybe, but that's outlining the end has really helped me be able to make that finish. All right? So if it's less the process you're working about and more of how to get the ending done, um, those are some things that really help. And those are my main five tips for how to finish a book. And I've done this a lot. I've done a lot of little outlines. Um, I've done a lot of writing through things, um, not freaking out about edits, that sort of a thing. And it's turned out really well. Um, 
Some of my books are better than others. Some of my NaNoWriMo ones are like, eh. One that I just was editing today though, I actually really like. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, what's my last tip on here? Oh, do something at the end to celebrate, all right? Um, this isn't really like a finish a book tip, but when you finish your first book, if you reward yourself, you'll be more motivated to finish more books. And for me, my reward is just dumb. I just print it off. I've only done that with two books because there's only two books I feel confident enough they're edited enough for that. I really should print one of my third one, uh, third one. Um, but just having a tangible copy that has your name on it and a title, it just makes it feel more official and is more motivating to finish more books. So yeah, that's just, those are my suggestions. You could also throw yourself a party. If you have a writing group, you could get them to eat food with you once you finish a book. Just make it fun. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. Um, Good luck with your writing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about finishing a book or what other problems maybe you ran into that I didn't address. Because um, again, this is the one thing I can do. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you want to see more weird videos of me explaining writing things, I guess, then subscribe and like and whatever. Um, bye.